May I, with right and conscience, make this claim. The sin upon my head, dread sovereign. Stand for your own. Unwind your bloody flag. Your brother kings and monarchs of the earth do all expect that you should rouse yourself, as did the former lions of your blood. Never king of England had nobles richer and more loyal subjects whose hearts have left their bodies here in England and lie pavilioned in the fields of France. Oh, let their bodies follow, my dear liege, with blood and sword and fire to win your right. In aid thereof, we of the spirituality will raise your highness such a mighty sum as never did the clergy at one time bring into any of your ancestors. Call in the messengers sent from the Dauphin. Now are we well resolved, and by God's help and yours, the noble sinews of our power, France being ours, will bend it to our oar. Or break it all to pieces. Now are we well prepared to know the pleasure of our fair cousin Dauphin. Your Highness, lately sending into France, did claim some certain dukedoms in the right of your great predecessor, King Edward III. In answer of which claim, the Prince, my master, says that you savour too much of your youth. He therefore sends you, metre for your spirit, this ton of treasure. And in lieu of this, desires you let those dukedoms that you claim hear no more of you. This, the Dauphin speaks. What? Treasure, uncle. Tennis balls, my liege. We are glad the Dauphin is so pleasant with us. His present and your pains we thank you for. When we have matched our rackets to these balls, we will in France, by God's grace, play a set. Shall strike his father's crown into the hazard, and we understand him well. How he comes o'er us with our wilder days, not measuring what use we made of them. But tell the Dauphin, I will keep my state be like a king and show my sail of greatness when I do rouse me in my throne of France. And tell the pleasant prince, this mock of his hath turned his balls to gunstones, and his soul shall stand sore charged for the wasteful vengeance that shall fly with them. For many a thousand widows shall this his mock, mock out of their dear husbands, mock mothers from their sons, mock castles down, and some are yet ungotten and unborn that shall have cause to curse the Dauphin's scorn. So get you hence in peace, and tell the Dauphin his jest will savour but of shallow wit when thousands weep more than did laugh at it. Convey them with safe conduct. Fare you well. This was a merry message. We hope to make the sender blush at it. Therefore, my lords, omit no happy hour that may give furtherance to our expedition. For we have now no thought in us but France, save those to God that run before our business. Therefore, let every man now task his thought that this fair action may on foot be brought.